Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to fix your saves as far as a dedicated server hosted on Linux. Um, if you're hosting this on Windows, I believe that the Power World has something on their website so you, they can help you out with that. Or you can also use this tool that I am um, linking in the description. And I'm going to link both of these because you're going to need two to download two things. Okay, so first you want to get this Power World host save fix from Janik Burn. And I'm obviously going to put the link in the description for you. And if you don't know how to download stuff from um, GitHub, you can either do it through the terminal or you can go to here code and then download the zip. And then you do the same thing for this one. You get Power World Save Tools and then you just download the zip. And again, I'll put the link in the description. So next, what we want to do is we want to go to your downloads. So I'm going to open two of these. All right. So first we're going to open the host save fix and then from here what you can do is just drag this folder into your downloads it really doesn't matter where you can actually even just drag it to your desktop um, but for now I'm just going to put it in downloads and then you're going to go in here and then where it says power world save tools um, I think the author forgot to put the tools here so that's why you got to grab these so you want to open power world save tools open it up and then grab everything and throw it in there. And then once you got that done, you are done with downloads. And then on this menu, let me just close that. You want to go back to downloads and just go back in here. So you're basically just going up one, one folder. So now here is where you're going to need to do most of your work on. And then from there, I'm going to open the new window. And then this is where you're going to want to grab your saves. Okay. So you want to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, PAL Server, PAL, Saved, Save Games, Zero. And this guy right here is the world that you have saved. Um, and I'm going to explain what you're going to need to do um, with this stuff in the next section. Also, I would like to note that you're going to have to uh, add two things. You're going to have to install Python. And you're going to have to um, add Visual Studio so you can open up the file that you need. You can use any smart um, text editor, something like Atom. Um, that's what I was using, but because the file is so big, it was causing Atom to crash. So I just switched to Visual Studio. And you can get those easily by just updating your packages. Firstly, and you don't have to add any repositories or anything, so that's great. And then once that's done, uh, do sudo app install python3, and that should just grab it right there. I already have it installed, so it's not going to go through. And then the other command to install Visual Studio is sudo snap install. Bam, that's it. You don't even have to add like dash dash classic code, that's like for other configurations, but. Once you have these two, you should be all set for the next steps as well. And before you move on with the video, I want to make sure and stress that you back up this world save folder somewhere, throw it into your downloads, throw it into desktop, make sure you make copies of it. You probably want to because there's a big chance you might mess this up. So throw it in your downloads, throw it in home, throw it in documents, just back this up before you go any further. So now we're going to go back to the folder that actually has your saved world. Okay. So in here, you want to go into your world that you're trying to save. You want to go to players. And right here, these, your IDs are your players. Now, if you have a ton of players on your server, I feel sorry for you because you're going to have to do this like over and over again and figure out who is who. I would strongly recommend you write some of these down. Um, you don't have to write the whole thing, but you want to try and just get the, like maybe the first two or four digits. So you know what to look for. And there's two ways to look for wh whose ID belongs to whose. So if you actually, um, let's see if you go into power world, save tools and I go, I'm going to just copy this person, right? And I'm going to paste it here into the save tools. Now, what you're going to want to do is open in terminal in this folder so you don't have to change directory to it. You're already here. Uh, and now this is where the Python comes in. 
So you're going to want to put Python 3, not thong, 3, uh, and then convert.py. And then just in case you're not aware, Linux is case sensitive. So if your file has like a capital in it, you need to put the capital or you're going to get an error. Ask me how I know. Um, and then you're going to want to put your save file. So D6 CE and sometimes it'll find it, but a lot of the times I just have to rename copy and then um, control shift V is to paste in Linux and just add dot save SAV hit enter. And you see now it makes a JSON file open the JSON file. So right here, all you're going to want to do is start scrolling down until you see your technologies that you've researched right here, right? So if you know that who's gotten or who's researched stuff, you can look in here and see who belongs, who, who's the closest person that belongs to that. Once you've determined um, who is the person that you're looking for, you need to scroll up here where it says player ID, and then you need to grab that ID. Um, that's not a bunch of zeros. Make sure you write that ID down because you're going to need it later. So the next method is to actually go back to your save folder, go up a level, and you're gonna actually wanna take this guy, level.save, and then you can just paste it over here. And this thing is gonna be freaking huge. So again, open a terminal. Uh, I probably already have it open, but we're gonna do Python 3 convert.py level and remember this is a capital L so you have to make a capital or it's not going to find it convert it so it makes it and you can see it actually takes a little bit longer than the other one and that's because this fi this file has a lot of stuff but now you're going to see how it's going to come into play when we look for the player IDs so we're going to look for um for mine first cutting in here because I totally forgot to tell you in the video, but make sure you open that JSON file that we opened with Visual Studio Code, just like I showed you right here. And then you can start typing in the first few digits, right? And here we are, here we are. So this is gonna be for my character, right? And I know it's my character because if I keep scrolling down from here, it should say my name. So boom, right there, K-God. So this is how I know that it's me. Editor's note, here is the example with me just finding myself with my name, and then I can check the ID, the player ID after that. All right, so if I'm going to transfer this to the new save, um, this is what I need to, this is what I need to know, and then here is what you're going to have to do on your server. So on your server, um, you're going to want to go ahead and, and start it up. So go ahead and open it here, you know, start it up, pal server, got to make a capital, start it up. And now what you're going to want to do is whoever you're going to target first to uh, get their profile moved, they need to log into the server. And once they're logged in, it's going to prompt them to create a new character. It literally doesn't matter what they pick. Just go with the default because it's going to get overwritten with their character anyway. So again, make sure it's the player that you're going to try and fix. It could even be yourself. Um, just make sure you log in because you need to be logged in to create the new profile. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the saved games open from the Steam um, actual server, not where you have your backups and not in downloads. So in here where we have um, PAL world, PAL saved, saved games, in your world players da 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 so once you're in here um, you want to have this on the side because what you're going to be want to wanting to watch for and it's going to come up right here is for the new entry to come in so basically how it's going to work is that you're going to have your person that you're going to migrate quote unquote um, log into the server have them create their character and then once they do that and they're loaded in you'll see that it'll it'll show this new um, player ID. So what you're going to want to do is note down the old one, obviously, and then the new one, because the script is going to just basically point the old ID to the new one. So it kind of tricks uh, the server into associating the 
new save and pointing it to the or the new ID to the old one so you can still keep your old stuff if that makes sense so again we're back here just to make sure we're not lost we're in the downloads here power will save power the host fix and then we are right here in the main area so from here what I would usually do is <clears throat> well what you need to do actually is you need to go to your saved folder okay and this is where I said the backers are gonna come in very handy if you make sure you back it up I'm being serious so usually what I do is I just move this over here okay because what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a brand new save and it's gonna output it to this folder and you're just going to drag it back in and I'm not gonna be able to show you that part because I've already done it but from here basically you have that world there right so you put the whole your whole save file right here into there and then you're gonna hit open new terminal so in here we're gonna type in python 3 space fix host save dot pi because it's this file right here and this is where um, you're gonna want to put in um, the different worlds and the different saves right so the context of this command is and I'll have it on the screen here too so you can actually see what I'm talking about it is fix host save space world space new ID space old ID so to give you example here I'm gonna copy the world and space control shift V boom and there it is and then next the IDs so I'm gonna do space and then I have it written off to the side over here so I'm just gonna copy that 1d1 e 00c2 and then all the zeros obviously you're gonna want to copy and paste this right um, that's the new one that I'm going to migrate or point right space and then you're gonna want to put the old one and obviously you're probably going to want to do the um, copy and paste method for this too but I'm just typing it in just for reference and that's it then you hit enter and then it's going to ask for a confirmation and you'll see me also do this in an example that I'm gonna put after this section all right so in this next section I'm showing you how I'm doing it here because I had to do it over after this video so right here I'm finding the old ID right and then I'm going back to the script and I know this is the ID I need so I just copy it and because this is the old ID I'm putting it on this section on the right now and this next part I'm just gonna be waiting for the old ID so I had this player log in to the server and now I'm just waiting for it to populate and there it is so from there I get the, the new ID put it there and then from there I go back to the script hit enter hit yes to confirm and there we go and I just drag it back to the actual saved folder the next thing that you need to do if you have more than one person is to do this whole process over again for each person as far as I'm aware um, unless they write up something where you can do multiple people but as far as I'm aware you're gonna have to have everybody join the server so you can see their new ID and then once you get that new ID you want to find their old one like in that method I told you uh, in in the little the level levels save that Jason that the, that it created um, and then when you do that you're gonna want to uh, you can back the, the new one up if you want. Um, I would recommend you that you do just put it somewhere separate or you can label it something. I don't know, but you're going to want to put this guy back in here. Note before you do this, make sure that the person that you're trying to migrate has already logged on. So their new profile is in there because the script is going to look for the new profile in there. 
So make sure you have them log in. And then once you know that file is in there, you can then move it to the other folder because otherwise the, the script is going to fail. And then you're going to run this whole thing again, but this time you're going to replace these IDs with the next person's IDs that you're trying to fix. And that's, that's it. You just have to do that depending on how many people you have. It's a, it's tedious, but I would argue it's way better than just starting over. Maybe it's in your best interest to start over if you have a lot of people on your server. Um, but if you're trying to save it, um, you it's totally possible. There's n technically none of the characters are lost. Um, I know this is very confusing, so please rewind and watch the video a little bit. Um, I hope that the file having the multiple file explorers open wasn't too confusing. But to me, I'm kind of that's kind of how I function. So um, at the very least, you just need two sections, right? It's just this section. So you can you can put your power world host. And then once you have your power world host, put in the save tools here and then go back out. And then this is where you're parked for the rest of the time here. And then the other rest of the time you're back in the server saves because that's where you're going to kind of be going back and forth. So I'm just going to transfer this guy back because that's my server there. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll try and see if I can help you out. Um, but yeah, this is hopefully this has helped you out. Uh, this kind of took me like an hour and a half of research. And again, thank you to the script writers that helped make this possible. Um, Janik and Chia and New, the three contributors as well. Um, I know I used this guy because I guess this guy's had like some potential issues that this guy's fixed. So this worked well for me. Um, but yeah, I will post the two links here in the description and hopefully that help you guys out. Thanks.